everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Gordon's Garage. Um, got a big project in the shop today. It's cold. No, I'm not vaping. Yeah, I'm not vaping. It's cold. Uh, I got my heater back there and um, I started on this project and I apologize in advance. I, I, I started the project without starting the recording. I, I debate every time, every time I go to do a video. I don't know whether it's going to be worthy of um, or... It's going to be a failure. I, I, I question everything all the time. Anyways, um, I'm in the shop. And I'm standing here in my cold shop, and I'm going to let you see the next project. You ready for this? I got a bus in my shop. All right. So there's a bus in the shop, and it needs some work. Um, two good guys. Really good. One of my uh, good friends I used to work with at Owens Corning, he's uh, uh, going to start a food truck and we need to convert a bus into a food truck. I'm not gonna be able to do all, all of it. Um, he's gonna do some of the stuff, I'm gonna do some stuff. Um, anything I can do to help, I decided I'm on board, let's do this. So we got a tr uh, truck, a van, that actually got converted into a bus at one point in the 90s, and um, it got used as a school bus for a long time, and now it's time for a new life as a food truck. So. What am I going to do to this thing? Um, the things that I can do to help this guy out is uh, paint. We can paint it. Yeah. It's indoors. Right now, outside, it's drizzly rain. I'd show you, but that's just a mess. Um, the wind's blowing, drizzly rain. There's no way to work on this outside today. So I am loaning my shop. I'm loaning my skills, my tools, and everything to get this bus turned into a food truck. Okay. So what are we going to do here? Got to paint. So if I'm going to paint, I'm going to need to take off all these little lights and we're going to have to cover up the windshield. Then we're going to paint everything. We need to sand, do some body work. And that's where it leads me into, I've already started this project. Um, on these corners, I don't know what was there, but there's a bunch of holes and I've already straightened out with the dolly and a metal hammer and I grinded the holes shut. And I'm going to weld these holes up today. Um, they're going to go bye-bye, and they're going to be ready for some Bondo. Uh, the hood had a little dent in it. I've been working it out. I don't want it too high, but a little Bondo there. And that thing I can't work out because it's double metal. Um, again, more holes. And I'm going to assume this was for either one of them bars that come out to keep kids from passing in front, or mirrors so you can see kids in front of the van. Nevertheless, those things got to be worked on. I need to take all the lenses off all these lights, then the back and the front, and I'll walk around to the back right quick. Been around. Whoa, don't drop the camera. Um, yeah, the back of the bus, atypical. Boom, 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 boom. All these lights have to come off and sand. Um, let's see if I can get you at an angle. Right here. Um, hmm, hmm. So I'm looking at the gouges. I need to get these gouges out. Um, so there's a question, do I fill it first or do I sand it first? Um, I think I'm gonna do a scuff sand real quick and easy so I can get into this surface here, not the gouge surface, and get it um, coarse enough to hold on to whatever I put on it. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna kind of scuff sand all of this um, to get those gouges out. They're all over. I hope you can see that. Um, all the way up there. And I'm going to sand all that stuff. That's going to be a time consuming. They started the sanding process for us. And uh, some things need a little more help. Um, here I go. Bus stuff. Hey, bus sign. Um, the other thing I'm going to help with is I'm going to do some um, uh, vinyl. Vinyl signs up here. Whatever they want. Put wordage. It's their food truck logo on the hood maybe. That'd be cool. And... The atypical spot for all of your lettering can go right down through here. Great, uh, um, great spot. Lots of lots of area. We can put something down. Anyways, the exterior needs paint, so it can look like a food truck. Uh, I just worked this back panel, and I'll show you me doing that right now. There's a dent here, and the panel's pushed in. And I wonder how much this panel comes out if I just remove this rib. So that's that's where I've got myself set up. Let's see if I can remove a rib. Wow. You gotta have that sitting good. Ah. 
Okay, we're gonna have to use different tool. We're either gonna grind all those off or we're gonna have to get the old hammer out. Man, does that need a square? I think it might need a square. Yeah, let's find a square bit. Yeah, it looks like a Phillips, but it has a square hole in the center as well, so it could be either, right? And that's what I hate. They they tease you as it could be either or, um, and it really needs this square bit to go in there. It holds much better if it's like this. Now, if they would have just made that a regular Phillips, it would have worked with the Phillips head screw uh, screwdriver bit. I've got a big one here that I've chewed up pretty good, <laughs> but it still works great. Um, Man, I hate, I hate that the industry is going to these square bits. Put in the comments down below if you hate them as well. Anyways, I'm going to remove uh, this bottom rib here. I'm going to put it on the bench here and tap on it and try to straighten it out. And I bet you I might not even have to pull on the sheet metal. If I put this thing back together with this rib straight, I bet it might pull itself. Okay, it turns out this metal is pretty thick and it's really hard. So in order to get this to work, I'm going to try to employ this uh, bench top press. And uh, yeah, so I have this little doodad, I think is about the right diameter to lay in that valley to get that shape back. And uh, I'm gonna just press on it. Let's see what happens. Oh, this is so gonna work. Oh my goodness, get this in here. Let's see what I got. Oh yeah! It is so close. So I've got a little bit of oil cannon going on. Oil cannon is when the sheet metal is larger in the center than it is on the outside edges, making it want to pop. Boop, 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 boop. That's what's going on. That's an oil cannon. Well, one way to stiffen that up is either take the pokey end of this and dip it, dip it, dip it, dip it, dip it and give it a little texture, um, and it will stiffen it up. But uh, the other thing, you've got this rib that goes on there, and it's going to be its strength instead. So. Let's just put this thing back. And uh, I've got it pretty close. And I hope these are the right screws for this. I don't know. I just took them out. How could they not be wrong? Okay. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, that's right. Get, I'm playing that little game where the bit doesn't want to stay in the screwdriver. It's awesome. So much fun. Okay, okay. You see, you hear the oil can popping in and out? Yeah, that happens. Now where'd my bit go? Oh, you don't want to stay in. It sticks in this and that. Uh. Yeah. Story of my life right here. Really cool thing about these buses is there are four screws here and little clamps and you take those four screws out and the window can just be pulled out. And so you can exchange the window quick and repair these things pretty fast. Um, so I was talking to the owners and I'm doing something without permission. When I talked to the owners, we're talking about taking this window out to turn it upside down. So when you serve food out the window, it goes out the bottom half, not the top half. And the idea is you receive food over your head, you spill it on yourself, receive food at your face, you tend to catch it and bring it down. So lower the better is, is the idea. Um, then I got in here into the shop today and I saw something else and I was like, nope, go in a different direction. This is so awesome. Okay, since this window is so easy to remove, I can just pop it out. 
and this bus comes equipped with emergency exit windows. Let's take a look at that one. It's right over here. So this is emergency exit window, and you see it's got a handle here. And when I was walking by outside, I noticed there's hinges at the top. So all you have to do is pull this lever and push, and push, and the window opens like that. And so that'd be a great way to serve food. So all I will do is move this window to the front and put that window back here and make a um, little bar that attaches here and that will pin here so whenever it's in the full upright position it will stay out. Oh, it's the one thing I've been avoiding. <laughs> I'm human, I yeah. Uh... Okay, so this is today's job. I'm sitting down by the heater because it's cold. I'm not vaping. That's actual, yeah. Anyway, so I'm gonna get underneath there. I'm gonna switch hands because I'm getting tired. Um, so I'm gonna get underneath there. There's two inch blocks. I'm going to take those two inch blocks out. That puts the spring on the axle. That's going to lower it two inches automatically. Um, but then there's a ride height problem because they put a rubber bumper in there and it's on a bracket that's about three inches from the frame. And so now you have no clearance because of that bumper. First thing, I got to cut the bumper off. We're going to put it back but we're not gonna have it on a bracket that takes up so much room. It's gonna minimize and give us more distance again. And then two, uh, we're gonna pull those blocks. That means I gotta shorten the shackle bolts that go over the axle. Those things are too long. So if I cut them off and re-thread them, I can just reuse those. But we all know that's easier said than done. <laughs> so fingers crossed, all this goes well. I know first thing I gotta do, get WD-40 out, start lubricating up all those bolts and stuff, get penetrating oil on it, and then I'm gonna have to go in there with a wire wheel. There's a lot of undercoating. They sprayed that thick, heavy stuff all over all the threads and stuff, and that's got to be knocked off there if I'm gonna get the bolt to come off of the U-bolts. So, oh yeah, the tailpipe. It needs, it needs to be there's a piece missing, broke off, and it needs to be reattached so that exhaust runs down the pipe and out the end. Because we all know that the exhaust has to run past the last area of any cab area on a vehicle. The truck bed, we don't care. Extended cab, four door, as long as the exhaust makes it past that cab area where the passengers ride, that's okay by the state because they don't want any fumes underneath the truck making it up into the breathing area of the people and getting them sick. Um, so that's why the tailpipe's got to make it out the back. So there, maybe I'll take that big old huge tailpipe and run away. No, I don't know. Anyways, we got to tackle an axle. I only got a couple of hours and I bet you I'm going to run into one trouble after another. So I'm just going to have to get in there and do it. Let's go. So I've gotten the work on the bus here and I started in on a part that I've dread been dreading and that's that rear axle. I wanted to get the two inch block out and it's a bit of a chore. It's, you know, you see this on videos and it's like, ah, just take that two inch block out and it'll lower it. Yeah, flip the axle, do all this other stuff. It is a lot of work. Um, so first of all, I decided, let me go ahead and cut out the um, little rubber bumper stop thing. and. Uh, so I got it cut out that you see there, and that's the before and the after. And then um, once I got those both sides out, which I mean, you're underneath crawling and with a grinder and <laughs> it's not an easy chore, but it's, it's fun that once you accomplish it, you feel like, yeah. And then I had to work to get one of these out. There's four of them and those don't want to come off because they've been there forever and they're just seized on there. So it took a cheater bar, it took um, heat. I had a, a, a torch down there. Gotta be careful, got a diesel fuel tank underneath there somewhere. You gotta watch what you're doing. So I got one of these off and I started inspecting it. And I don't know how well you can see. Yes, there are threads up in there, but what I'm looking at right here, the difference in diameter is less here than there. So that means I can't chop this off and re-thread this 
and just throw them back on because there's not going to be much thread and yeah your whole vehicle suspensions on that you want really good thread and I didn't want to mess that up so we're going to lower this two and a half inches there's a two and a half inch block we're removing and so I'm going to go source me a couple more of these that are two and a half inches shorter all right so that's the suspension part I'm in a standstill um, the other part is I don't know much about one ton axles but to get the axle out I, I don't know where that thing is leaking <laughs> but back behind that drum to get the drum off you got to take another plate off you got to take this so i gotta go watch me some youtube videos really familiarize myself with that um 14 bolt dually axle and uh maybe maybe i'll replace the seal on that sucker if it looks like it's a lot of technical tools i, I probably might have to say hey we need to outsource that um other than that uh progress we did the window we did the dents we did the dent on the front blah 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 and today i focused on this and after i got this done i said if i have time i'll start making some of the brackets for inside haven't even got to that bitter cold outside and i want to go source these things first and i also need to get some exhaust pipe big chunk of the exhaust pipe is missing and i suspect someone stole a catalytic converter damn it i hate that anyways I got to repair the exhaust properly we're going to get it all buttoned back up and so i got to go source those parts as well so i'm going to call it a day for today and go do that stuff now here comes the exciting part you ready for this i got something for you all right um let me toss this down here right there sure all right so gordon's garage is going to do a giveaway yeah, you've been watching the video all the way at this point. <laughs> Here's part of the giveaway part. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get turbo, Rust-Oleum turbo cans to paint this bus. This is going to be really cool. Um, I'm going to get some turbo cans. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to sand, do all the good stuff. I'm going to prep this thing best I can. And we're going to try these turbo cans. Now, what I'm going to do, and hopefully this don't fall out on me, but if the turbo can stick to this type of paint and everything and we're all good to go, we can cover the whole vehicle. I'm going to use turbo cans. Your goal is to guess how many turbo cans it's going to take to paint this mini bus, short bus. How many cans? Now you're gonna to have to kind of get, I mean, what's it gonna take? Six, seven, 10, 12? Is it gonna take three and a half, three and three quarters? I'm gonna weigh each can before and after I finish it up and know how many ounces I got through. That way I can take and finish two, three, four cans and then get so many ounces through the next can, I know the can was exactly three sixteenths used or whatever this gives more variable so more people can have more guesses than just how many cans period i want you to get a little more technical than that how many cans and partial can is it going to take to paint this whole bus all right now what am i going to give away well of course i'm going to give away some merchandise i've got some decal throw in i've got uh, a fender cover i probably have a picture throw up here for of that um maybe one of these little um ratchet tie down straps full things but the thing I'm going to throw in is this right here it's on the bench and I haven't finished dolling it up yet I'm going to throw some of my decals on it but they are the die hard these are die hard there you go die hard now you're like what jack stands come on these are cool jack stands these are the bad boys look at this you just lift up I'm not doing anything with this other hand. Let me reset that. All right. All right. Look, look, look. This hand right here. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just holding it. All right. You just lift up. It's got a little shock in there that raises that automatically for you. Then you put weight on it. It locks in. This is the coolest jack stand known to man. I'm sorry. I'm calling it. All right. There's one warning sticker on the back side. I'm leaving that so you can have some safety feature details and stuff. But this is how they come. They don't come in boxes or anything. And uh, I'm going to pull the decals off that say Die Hard. And I'm going to do it up with Gordon's Garage decals. Just like um, I have on my lift and stuff like that. And these are going to be included in the giveaway. 
to whoever guesses how many cans that it takes to spray this bus. Man, these are the coolest jack stands. Even comes with this cool chain and pick and you can slide that through there, zip it. Um, the other thing I am gonna do, it is, you need to bend that tab in. Yeah, it's gonna chip off a little paint. It's okay though, but you gotta bend that tab in. It's, it's really, really important. Last thing you wanna do is you're gonna grab the top of that thing and lift up and it come apart on you and you, yeah. So those are really, really cool jack stands and I'll show you the bottom side. Yep, yep, there's a little shock thing, just like holds up the hood of your car or the trunk of your car, those little gas shocks. There's one inside it. That is the most coolest jack stand in the world, and I'm gonna endorse it as Gordon's Garage jack stands. Um, I wish Die Hard would uh, let me have one of those, you know, features as a Gordon's Garage color scheme or something, but nevertheless, I'm gonna do them up on my own, and I'm gonna put them in a free giveaway with a little merchandise. So at the end of this video, get in the comments, put in what you think it's gonna take. Cause the next video, it's gonna be paint the bus time. And at the end of that video, before I post it online, I already know who the winner is and I'll announce who the winner is. So yeah, I'm gonna sit here and just play with jack stands all day. Okay, next day, next morning. It's so cold outside. I'm out. Let me pull my phone here to see. Oh. Okay. Um. We're gonna pretend we didn't see that. Yeah. Um. Uh. It's it's it's. Oh, fine. It's fine. We got stuff to do. So we're gonna um get to work. Maybe if I move, it'll warm up. <laughs> this this video is getting extremely long, and I need to trim up a bit and. Uh, Fast forward, so I'm just going to show you some of the work I've done, and uh, here comes that slideshow. First, I got that uh, block out of there and uh, lowered it down real nice. The wheel looks good in the wheel well. And then I went inside and built a bracket for this little sink so it hold it to the wall. It's all screwed in there nice and tight. The front of the bus got all welded up, and it's uh, ready for some Bondo and some paint. Then uh, next I had to work on this step. It was cracked and busted and uh, I went in and put this piece of angle iron in, jacked it up, put some self-tapping screws. It is now solid as rock and will hold my weight just fine. The next thing I went ahead and built this grate to cover the stairwell so no one will step down in there and twist their ankle or whatever. I need to make sure it holds someone's weight. So I went ahead and stood on it here to see. Um, yep. Yep, it holds me just fine, and I made sure to build it to where it didn't need any fasteners to uh, put it in or out or hold it down. Make it easy to install and take away. I was working on this window here more. I don't like the little brass rod thing. I'm not happy with that yet, but uh, it does work technically. And I uh, made a sliding frame that's going to hold window screens to keep the bugs out. Slide it open, slide it shut, shut your window. All works good. Okay, guys, I'm working like mad. I'm trying to get as much done as I can. I'm not moving very fast on the body work. That I need to move faster on. Uh, that, that's, yeah, we're doing that. Um, I'm getting to a point where I don't have anything else I need to be playing with inside that might alter the body. I'm not really worried if it did. But anyways, so the next video is going to be uh, some turbo cans in flat black. Ah, turbo. Anyways, um... Yeah, get in the comments. Guess how many of these cans it takes to paint that small bus. And uh, you might win some cool stuff. Yeah, wrapping this up, because I don't want a long video. Y'all have a good weekend.